Welcome to the Norman Nick Show. I am Norman. Enjoy the show. New surveillance video tonight of a murder suspect firing a pistol into an office. And tonight, Alonzo Perez is considered armed and dangerous after escaping North Las Vegas police custody. 13 Action News reporter David Schumann spoke to Perez's old landlord who says Perez is a threat to society. Lewis Scott has a rule. Peterson Motel. If his tenants at the Peterson Motel and Apartments are fighting, he won't let them into the office. So when Alonzo Perez came to the door with his girlfriend in July, the door stayed locked. I don't want to let them in. I knew they had been arguing for the last couple of weeks. Three security cameras caught the shocking thing that happened next. Now as he walks away, this is when he just turns around and his gun jams right there. Perez's gunshots were so unexpected, Lewis thought they were firecrackers. Except for the glass flying and everything in here, you know, I didn't really believe what was actually happening at the time. Lewis says nine shots in total were fired into his office, shattering this glass. Bullets landed here, here, and in the mailboxes behind the desk. This guy just has no regard for life at all. Now, police are searching for Perez again. They had him. North Las Vegas officers picked him up as a suspect in a murder last week. Then Perez did his best Houdini impression and escaped handcuffs, escaped the detective bureau. No one's found him. Anyone out there right now um, that he runs into, even if he's smiling, don't approach him. Those who have encountered him say this video should serve as a reminder of just how prone to violence Alonzo Perez can be. A suspected killer is on the loose hours after police originally arrested him. I'm Christine Medella. I'm John Huck. Police are looking for 25-year-old Alonso Perez, who escaped custody and then stole a pickup truck. Perez, the man suspected of killing 31-year-old Mohammed Robinson in North Las Vegas this past weekend. Fox 5's Vince Sapienza tracked down the manager of the company who saw the stolen truck take off from his parking lot. Vince is live in the newsroom. John Christine, at this time, police are still scrambling to find Alonzo Perez, a man they're describing as armed and dangerous due to his history of violence. Now, the manager I spoke with earlier today told me he's still in shock, not just to hear that someone escaped police custody, but that dangerous criminals are routinely brought around near his workplace. 
We just had a truck jacked. And they said, oh, well, we just, we just lost a suspect. And we thought, you lost a suspect? <laughs> the answer to that is yes. And that suspect is 25-year-old Alonzo Perez, a 6'3", 200-pound Hispanic man who was last seen wearing a number 21 Dallas Cowboys jersey. He also has a 3-inch Air Jordan tattoo on his neck. He's the prime suspect in a homicide that resulted in the death of Muhammad Robinson last weekend in North Las Vegas. Police say they arrested Perez at 10 a.m. Friday only to have him break free at their detective bureau near the North Las Vegas airport. When the detective stepped out, um, Alonzo broke the handcuffs and then escaped out of the building. Police say Alonzo fled west where he stole a white 2016 Ford F-250 pickup truck just like this one. The truck belongs to Sunbelt Rentals, a business less than 100 yards away. I, I saw the truck take off out of our front lot, and I knew that it was stolen because I heard word someone stealing our truck. Vincent Link, the branch manager, said one of his technicians was loading a running truck, and it's there where Perez found his opportunity. The only communication between that gentleman and my technician was a look through the window and the guy gave a kind of like what you want some trouble link tells me all his vehicles are equipped with gps tracking so he went online to find his truck and it ditched our our tracking device near the lowe's home shopping center well this is not something that happens hardly ever i mean uh, at least in in the time that i've been here i don't ever recall an incident like this happening I asked police if security was an issue and if the handcuffs Perez broke were faulty. I was told they'll be looking into that, but for now, their focus is finding Perez. We have a dangerous suspect on the loose here in the valley, and we just want to urge the public that if you do come into contact with him, um, uh, take a moment to step back, call law enforcement officials so we can come out. Now, John, Christine, police tell me there are multiple agencies working on this case and that they have a few locations and leads and spots that he may be hiding, but they would not go into detail with Fox 5 as to not tip off Perez. All right, so we've shown you the dramatic escape caught on police interrogation cameras in North Las Vegas. Yep, and so now we're learning the backstory behind this arrest. And we were saying that this story has made national headlines, right? I saw it this morning, yeah. Yeah, on HLN, that's when he escaped. We're talking about Alonzo Perez. Alonzo Perez, yes, he has certainly been in the headlines and for very good reason. We've now learned a lot more about what was happening behind the scenes. The backstory, if you will, Alonzo Perez, according to police in a police report, was high on crystal meth when a crime spree began, starting with a robbery, ultimately ending with the shooting and the death of Mohammed Robinson. Perez reportedly robbed a woman at gunpoint at an ATM on East Lake Mead, used the money to buy beer at a convenience store, then not far away at a McDonald's. Perez allegedly killed kills Mohammed Robinson. There had been an argument before the shooting death over who should have held the door for a woman at that McDonald's restaurant. Police say that Mohammed Robinson and the woman argued. They exchanged some threatening words and then Perez got involved. There was a shooting and Mohammed bled to death. Perez was arrested and of course we saw that incredible, unbelievable, bold escape from the interrogation room in North Las Vegas. Alonzo Perez had been on the run for five days before being captured in the police report. News 3, our sister station, we learned from that police report that Perez did talk with detectives saying that he never planned on shooting Mohammed. In fact, that he termed the shooting of Mohammed as, as an act of self-defense. So that may play out as this case moves forward to trial, as, as appears to be what will happen here. Perez has been charged now with crimes connected to the shooting and all of the incredible events in North Las Vegas. He is currently in custody and being held on just over a million dollars bail. He has another court date coming up a bit later this month. So this is a story that's going to play out with uh, many more court dates.